Hello. Hey. We're back. <laughs> now get rid of us that easy. <laughs> yeah, it's been two weeks since we last streamed. Oh, yes. 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 Yeah. So we we had yeah we had Matt and Caroline for the meet yeah. meet people stream yeah. yeah oh they were so cute mm-hmm. I like that yeah yeah yes it's nice to see the fresh new faces of PhD students unjaded <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> yeah like I said we just need to get them back for another interview at the end of their PhDs and like show them what they said in the one at the start yeah yeah I mean I feel like because if I happen to be showing them somebody else would be showing them what they were like yeah true true speaking of gone by then. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, you raise a good point. Of we've got Henry first year of yeah, you got, yeah, you, yeah, you got mine. Yeah. yeah by, by that point, I'm going to be showing myself that. Yeah, but all I'm saying is, next month we're going to be a year on since that interview. So yeah, we're going to do a side by side comparison. No, it was the wasn't it in February? It's, yeah, so we it was did... after it was after the interview think tank. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, we we did. I think in January after Christmas, we just did like a like a again, yes family catch up. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that was when you were talking about your trifle disaster or something. And then, yeah. Don't, don't, don't remind me. You're going to jinx me for uh, this Christmas. Are you making a trifle? So every year, <laughs> every year my family make a trifle at Christmas time. And, you know, it's, it's been my job. Like, that is the thing I bring to Christmas dinner. Or not the, the, the main lunch. We have it in the evening. Yeah. Like, you know, when you're, when when you're having all the leftovers. Yeah. And, That's the best, though. Yeah. So good. So I was like, right, I'm on trifle duty. And then one year I tried making it like as soon as I woke up like pre-coffee as soon as I woke up on Christmas Eve um completely was not with it managed to completely mess it up so you know when you make it from the cubes you're supposed to add like half the amount of water hot like this is the jelly yeah yeah. Yeah, special just entire tribal cubes (laughs) this is the jelly so you you cut up the cubes of gelatin and then you add boiling water you dissolve them Mm -hmm. then you add cold water and then you mix and then you put it in Whatever you're I don't know, maybe I'll be cold water. I think I'll just put hot water in the stream fridge. Okay, so you should add half the amount of hot water okay. and then half cold water, or at the very least, all of the amount of water you need. Mm-hmm. I added half the amount of water, forgot the cold water, poured it in the thing, being like, oh, that's not a lot. Didn't think too much about it until my mum is like, what are you doing? Realised, and then my sleep addled brain just poured cold water on top of it. Which meant that when we then made the trifle and we layered it, you had this like solid gelatin, <laughs> this like some, sad oh, wet layer. <laughs> that reminds me of school jelly would be like that because you'd have it like, like a almost... jelly and ice cream or mm. something. No, our school like did like always had like little pots of jelly at like okay. or, like you yeah, know like those like, pots of food, pots of yogurt, like pots of like jelly, and it was always like either really wet or just rock solid, and almost like <laughs> crunchy. But you think of it, is it if it's coming in pots? Surely that's like. No, they made, they made the jelly. They made it in there. And they, they, they just it poured it over, like... <laughs> Who knows? But yeah, so that that's my traumatising story. I think that was the same year that I messed up the timings for the Christmas dinner, so we were three hours late. Or well, that might have been a different year, I don't know. Yeah. I'm not allowed in the kitchen, basically. <laughs> we always do the vegetable, like, we prep all the... Because it's become, like, over the last few years, a Christmas Eve tradition to say we're all sitting on the kitchen table, prep all the vegetables mm-hmm. for the day before the night off. Yeah. Uh, day of you want a nice calm calm environment with no sad trifling people <laughs> and no undercooked turkey and all that stuff but it is nearly christmas which will be very exciting yes. yeah you got any fun family traditions food wise um i'm not sure so we we always have something that i've always called coconut cakes at christmas mm-hmm. and they're not they're not an actual cake but and they're not necessarily christmasy but for whatever reason, my nan always made them and she would always have like a big baking day on Christmas Eve. So we always went to my nan and granddad's for Christmas dinner. And so, but then all of the prep for Christmas day got done on Christmas day. Oh. So my nan just spent like two days in the kitchen mm. and then she'd make her own sausage rolls as well on Christmas Eve. Like, I want to be at your nan. It's <laughs> great. But then coconut cakes, uh, so there'd be like a pastry case with jam in the bottom mm. and then make a sponge like a normal sort of what you think of as a sponge mixture yeah. but instead of flour add desiccated coconut Ooh, okay. and then load that into the pastry cases yeah so they're more like a coconut tart but then yeah we always still have some of those and I, mm. like my mum was stressing to me yesterday she was like i haven't made any coconut cakes yet this year it's like it's nearly christmas and we haven't had any but we would never used to be allowed them until like it was Christmas Eve. Yeah. We were never allowed them before then. Um, so now we do make them a little bit sooner. That's um, fair. Yeah. I do enjoy the, like, 
oddly specific seasonal food that people's families have where they're like no no you can't have that yeah. outside of christmas yeah. time that's not allowed and it's not even because it is christmasy it's just you've created it to be christmasy yeah. within your family that yeah. i don't know if we like have any particular with us so like there's food where we only have around christmas really? we always have lots mm. of bubble and sweet but that's just because we have lots of leftovers What's bubble and squeak? You get over, everything of a veg dinner, add it into a big saucepan and fry off. So all the vegetables going together. All the like, I mean, you just it's have. Kind of, it's like a potato. Yeah. Like you make like a potato patty and then yeah, you fry yeah, it, and but it's got off. veg and everything. It's all, you, you just chuck okay. the whole veg together in like one big tupper and just. Well, that sounds quite good actually. Then just fry it off. Can you imagine it. gravy as well? or? No. Oh. Pickles, maybe a bit of pickle lily. Pickled bit of, lily. Pickle lily. Pickle lily. It's like a like a yeah, like yellow a condiment. I don't know what's in it, but it's nice. You had me and then you lost me, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> but a grass and pickle? It's pickle top yeah, too. Yeah. yeah, so it's not far off that, except for it's like bright. Right, yeah. Okay. Like radioactive, yeah. yeah. Okay. I, I don't know if this is just a, like, my family don't do that, or a, it doesn't exist in Wales for deals, but I mean, so I, I, I can't say it's something that we do massively, but it's like, I've, I've heard of it, mm. so. Yeah. yeah. I don't know, it might just be a slightly southern thing of just... <laughs> Who knows? I mean, yeah, close to London. Mm. Is that a place called Piccadilly in London? No, no. Piccadilly. Piccadilly. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Hey, at least. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, Branson pickle on toast with cheese. Mm. Mm-hmm. But you have to put the pickle under the cheese. Or if you're so going to grill the cheese, yes. Yeah, so if I'm, if I'm making like grilled cheese on toast, mm. then I would put the pickle or like brown sauce underneath the cheese yeah. and then it creates like what size of like what when you go bouncing pickle do you get like a like the like the small chunk bouncing pickle or a large chunk bouncing pickle i'm a heathen i like the spreadable stuff yeah the smooth <laughs> i will eat the chunky one but like maybe like small chunk okay yeah, yeah. big chunk yeah <laughs> you need like the nice meaty chunks of vegetables yeah this outfit actually yesterday that was bouncing pickle on a christmas pudding is that the thing i don't think that's a thing i hope not <laughs> like yeah. Sweet and sweet and like pickle flavors a thing? Maybe it might not be Branston pickle, but it was definitely Branston, and it was definitely a Christmas cake. Mm. Like so, the... yeah, yeah. That's I. I mean, pe- some people have this thing where it's like sweet and savory. Mm. So I can see that maybe it's a thing, but I really like it. I hope it's not. <laughs> like my um, because another thing that we've started doing sort of more recently is we make a Christmas cake every year, mm. and then the design for the Christmas cake sort of has to become this big extravagant like thing and we've had like two tier ones and they've had Jeez. like prep and drawings and everything That's amazing um but then i i made one i've got another one to decorate when i go home but i made one here myself and i gave my supervisor some the other day um when i brought it in on wednesday and one of them asked he he said like do you reckon they will have any stilton in like the shop on campus because he wanted to yeah, eat no, Christmas thing. No. cake with Stilton. I don't know. Christmas cake with Stilton is actually a thing. Okay. I mean, I back cheese on most things. <laughs> we can't picture it, but I would try it. I think okay. that's where I like it. It's like, well, like, Christmas cake on, like, the sort of, like, savoury to sweet scale is actually more of a savoury side. It's, like, relatively savoury. Yeah, yeah. It's, like, in the same way that, like, you know, you could have, like, like, fruit shred or savannah or is it Sorin? Sorin? Savan? Sorin? Sorin. <laughs> We're just going to make you try all of the pronunciations. Like butter on like solid yeah, yeah, like, uh, loaf cakes. Mm. And like even, I, mean, I don't know, it would be unusual to have cheese on that, so I can, I can see the sort of like... Yeah, I think it's like, I, if I had the option between sweet and savoury, I always choose sweet, so the idea of choosing savoury seems mm-hmm. strange. But like, okay, okay, maybe I'll back it. Yeah. Try it. Yeah. <laughs> just suggest to my mum, like, right, okay, we've never done this before. We're having Stilton in the trifle. <laughs> <so. laughs> um, oh, that's my Christmas. You're not welcome. That's just. You still get a text later, like, what are you doing? Um, no. I, I... I'm going full Rachel Green. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. Like, what do you mean there's no beef in the trifle? <laughs> you could put maybe cream cheese instead of the actual, like, Philadelphia in the trifle. It's a bit of the whipped cream. Yeah. No. Real question though is, are you a, well, I suppose, yeah, a fruit and cherry or a jelly in a trifle or custard or blanc? What's wrong with all of them? I just don't like trifles. So the the only times I've ma- I make, again, at Christmas, 
I will make a chocolate orange trifle. So we've gone with fruit and alcohol mm-hmm. and then custard. Okay. Just because jelly does, like, I feel like yeah. jelly is like, you've got commitment to the trifle life if you're putting jelly in your trifles. Yeah, see, my yeah. family are, you know, you, you put the, the cake down the bottom. Yes. Normally we go for Swiss roll if we're yes. fancy. Yeah. Down the bottom, cover with uh, jelly filled with fruit, typically strawberries. Yeah. Then a layer of blancmange, okay. which is increasingly difficult to get hold of these days. Mm-hmm. And then whipped cream. So okay. we don't even have custard. Yeah. What is blamon? Like set custard. Okay. Yeah. 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 So it used to come in these little packets that look very similar to Angel Delight, but very different. Mm-hmm. Oh, Angel Delight. Okay. But it's essentially like flavouring, corn flour, sugar, and milk. And then you like uh, heat it and let it cream, uh, let it let it set. Yeah. And that will be like, but then that's even harder, which is why I had to like rush the trifle so early because we have to do two layers of like letting it set in the fridge. Mm-hmm. And like decanter trifle, so it's standing. No, no. So we we because you put the whipped cream yeah. on top. Yeah. Like, yeah we so can, like put it in. But mum has the like the fancy glass dish, and then mm-hmm. that's the like that's the trifle yes. dish. Yeah. Um. So, yeah. Say fancy. It's like... <laughs> so my grandmother always makes something called snowball pudding, mm-hmm. which is like a trifle, but you like you do something so you decant and it's got like sponge fingers and then covered in like a white icing. Ooh. I've tried so to. I've, is it kind of like a summer pudding, but like a winter pudding? I don't version? know. But I've looked up snowball pudding on the internet before, and nobody knows it exists or knows what it is. Right, okay. So it's something like my grandma has been making since, you know, they were on fashions or something. And like, oh. and basically every single like year, she's like, she's like, oh, it's your, it's your father's favourite. And my dad's like, oh, yeah, I love this. And seemingly on the car, I was like, why does she always keep making me eat this thing? Oh, dear. No, no. I feel like any like desserts are in Christmas time, I will happily enjoy. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it is it is officially the last week of university semester here. Yeah. Even though we're probably technically meant to be working next week. Are you guys planning on doing a little bit of work or I've been yeah. given textbooks you will, I will need to go through and learn about. Oh. Yeah, so I think official university closure day is the twentieth. Right. So okay. it is midweek. I was so gonna say I thought it was actually good Friday, but no. I think it's midweek. Yeah. I think yeah. it's we have like midweek until midweek. I think we have full two full weeks off for Christmas. Okay. okay. So I think it's twentieth to the third. Right. Which is lush. Of all of the, you know, mm. ups and downs of working at university. Yes. Having like inter Christmas week off mm-hmm. guaranteed is, yeah. is quite nice. Yeah. Um yeah, I'll do like some work Monday, Tuesday. Mm-hmm. Um but then, yeah, try and switch my brain off and then come back with full force in January. Yeah, yeah. So I, I, I'm, this is my last holiday before I finish. <laughs> so I'm going to make the most of it as much as I humanly can. Yeah, don't mind you. <laughs> it does feel like because I'm going on holiday second week of January. Mm. Like a foreign holiday means like, do I actually do work between like New Year's and then going? Oh, more bold. Yeah. Because like we start back when it's like, oh, it's only a few days until then we're <laughs> okay. travelling. So it's like, yeah. okay. Mm-hmm. I told myself that I'm going to try and do like half days next week and then the first week back as well. Mm-hmm. So that it's like it's, it's a little like, like a, gentle day yes, into the yeah, holiday. Yeah. I like that. I like that. Uh, like I say, whether it actually happens. Or... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm like, because of my family, like, so I'm going back to my parents and like, they only like heat one room of a house, everyone's just always in that one room. So I'm like, I'm just going to work in there. So I always like, you know. It's cosy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's only so many Christmas movies I can sit through before I start getting distracted anyway. Yeah. But normally I'm like playing with like a maths textbook, that, not textbook that I get given for Christmas. I do not get bought a textbook for Christmas. Like yeah. Or like fun maths, pop, mm-hmm. like pop side books. Yeah. Yeah. Like um, the new one by Kit Yates, which I think <laughs> I'm getting for Christmas because my mum was like, you don't have that yet, do you? Oh. <laughs> you mentioned Kit Yates wrote two books. Yeah. Mm, good. Mm-hmm. They are actually really good. I'm not overbedded even. I did enjoy his first one. Yeah. yeah. Um, I only loved it when we had him on the street. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was just before the second book. Does, does, the, does the actual hashtag Kit Command still work? Maybe. In the chat. An exclamation mark oh. Kit Yates. Or Kit or something. Just, um, just try something. We'll make it if not. Because I'm sure we set one up. Yeah. Nah. Not that one. <laughs> I'm sure <laughs> I got to be a while. People um, who joined, there we yay! Go. Uh, was it how to expect the unexpected? Yeah. Yes, that was yeah. always the thing when I was like a kid. Mm-hmm. Of like, I would get like the newest Matt Parker or Anna Fry book, mm-hmm. and it was like just sit there on Christmas Day, like binge reading it. Like, yeah. oh, this is so cool. It's the only thing I've always been much more of a fiction book person. Mm-hmm. So I would again always have a pile of books on Christmas Day, 
but they were always yeah like yeah. story books or mm. I've, I've always found many parts of the non-fiction like just friends I find most non fit well, I say that, the like the self help philosophy ones I struggle with, but the maths ones I get quite excited about. Um so like the yeah, the, the pop side yeah, books I yeah. enjoy. I think it's because I kind of already know the concepts yeah. and then mm-hmm. you're just learning about it in a do a cool way or yeah. finding out a new application. Yeah. I think when doing maths I need the visual. Mm. That's true. I, I, I think I can't, like, I find it, like, even with lecture notes and stuff, I, I need to be able to even write stuff down myself and, like, draw diagrams or pictures or... Uh, okay. So, like, with a, you know, a pop side book, I need to also mm-hmm. be able to do the pictures or whatever as it goes Yeah. Through. That's quite a cool, like, concept, though. Like, you know that that's how you learn. Yeah. So. I, I, I need to have a, you yeah. know, that's why I always struggle with pure maths, because I can never... You get to a point where I no longer can see what's happening in my mm-hmm. head. Yeah. This is why fluid dynamics is the best subject. You heard it here first, folks. Yes. Yeah. Which <laughs> mean I can go and look at some fish. <laughs> you do like your fish. <laughs> I, was just, I, was just, I liked mass bind dynamic dynamical systems stuff because again, like you can sort of envision how like population yeah. dynamics and stuff sort of there's there's a picture there somewhere. Yeah. Although I many credit to my um algebraic topology lecturer that like even though it got very, very pure and very abstract, he still found ways to like get diagrams or mm. try and like visualize it. Um yeah, but sometimes maybe it's not about the subject, but about the way it's yeah. Going. Yeah, so finding the right sort of teaching style plus person to teach plus like the right environment to learn it. Yeah, can be yeah, can be mm-hmm. good. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. So what are we doing today, <laughs> Beth? <laughs> well, firstly, we should probably say that you might notice Seb's not here. This we, is very we miss true. Seb yeah. very dearly, but he <laughs> is coming back. We promise. <laughs> I don't. I don't know this person. I've never met them before in my life. It's only ever been theme members of this. Ignorant of your imagination, there is no war in Barsingside. <laughs> that was a very niche reference for like two people, but oh, I get it. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, Seb is in Brazil currently. Mm-hmm. Um, Samba have been took some people out there to and run... he's dancing no. he's dancing the samba yeah um no they <laughs> took some staff and students out there to run an itt out in brazil so yes. one of our standard interactive think tanks they sort of take uh, th- i mean i haven't been to one you went to one last year right yeah yeah, yeah. but the, my understanding is that it's the partners are in brazil yeah and they've kind of they've got a load of either uni students or like probably masters or phd students that are then participating but it's like the samba people go out there to basically run it and show them how it's done right yeah so it's like an extra level of training for us in that you know we go from taking part in an itt or being assessed on it in our first year to to being the sort of more experienced students and if they run it abroad you know you you lose that more experienced student Mm -hmm. so the idea is that we will go across and because we know the format we can help out Mm -hmm. um but yeah so they'll 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 be at a host institution in brazil yeah um, I think they're in Sao Paulo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure. Um, so they'll be at a host institution and it'll be their PhD students or master's students that are mm-hmm. taking part and they're the ones that are like learning from the experience. Yeah. yeah. Um, but also it's nice because I think there are, you know, partners that we've worked with in the past that then kind of take that model of integrative think tank and go and run their own. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. So it's it's a nice way to like build up that network. Okay. Um, also for us, it's just a nice time to go explore a new country because yeah. we don't, you don't always necessarily have the right connections or the right opportunities to do so, so it's a little, little extra, um, yeah, yeah fun yeah. thing. And it's one of the nice things about academia is that you do get opportunities to travel and mm-hmm. stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like I, I can't believe Chile was a year ago, and mm-hmm. I'm like, I miss it so mm-hmm. much. Yeah. It was so much fun. I would go back in a heartbeat. It was so good. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, we hope Seb's having a wonderful time, and we miss him dearly. Yeah, and so. he can tell us all about that in the new year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can hear all about that. Um. <laughs> Yeah, so today I I planned a quiz Ooh. for you both. Oh no. <laughs> I I insist that it's not a hard <laughs> quiz. Uh-huh. It's meant to be a little bit of fun with a little bit of like a Christmas come maths come behind the research theme. Mm-hmm. So we can I can answer questions on at least two of those. <laughs> I'm gonna <the only> one. <laughs> <laughs> I think we between us we make the full set. <laughs> what were you doing? The point is not that you work together against though. The point is that you're against each other. Fine. Maybe maps. Yeah, I was gonna say I could do behind the research and Christmas. And stuff. I I think the questions are quite easy. I've I've okay. written them. I didn't necessarily know the answers to all of them myself. It was like I was googling stuff. Okay. So yeah. Okay. 
but we have our we have our tablets ready to yes okay so we answer. i think yeah what's gonna, the format what are we doing we are going to do one question at a time mm-hmm. and then if you write your answers on your tablets and then you can show them to me and the the viewers okay, but not to each other before we reveal obviously okay. Okay. and then landscape. we can landscape. landscape we have some sweets as well so I you, can have, you can have a prize of a sweet when you get a question right. Yeah. <laughs> when we get a question wrong, do we also get a sweet? I'll throw one at you. <laughs> right. Are we ready? Yes. Okay. So I think we're starting relatively easy. Um, so question one is, in which country did it first become a custom to have an indoor Christmas tree? That was an easy one. I don't know. I will say, if there's anyone in chat, then I will allow you to give them clues. Please don't tell them the answers because mm. that would. Both of I mean, Henry can't read it from here, and I. Yeah, I can't see. If if people want to give you clues, I will share them with you. I won't be that mean. I would <laughs> read them out. Like, yeah, people in chat can give you clues that I won't then tell you. <laughs> um. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna go. Is it spelling dependent? No, I, we should know which country you mean vaguely. Yeah, okay, like, fine. how badly is your spelling? <laughs> I'm dyslexic. Spell- oh, yeah, but you're gonna have to say it, right? Like, Literally. yeah. Oh, that's not that that's awesome. The desert does not look correct. Okay. But like, what? Okay, you're pick- you're picking a place that's hard to spell then. <laughs> Well, so not. I need to pick a place that's... <laughs> Do you want me to give you a clue? No, I'm guessing. Fuck it. <laughs> Tanzania. No. Are you both ready? Yeah. No. <laughs> okay, what are your answers then? Norway. Norway. Okay. Like, <laughs> to be fair, I think those are very sensible guesses. <laughs> no, so, again, I think there's maybe some debate about the oldest Christmas tree tradition dating okay. back to like Roman times. Something, or something. something the pagans yeah. definitely liked their trees. <laughs> but as far as I'm aware, that the first time they were brought indoors and decorated was in Germany. Oh, um, okay. okay. Which is where we get the old Tannenbaum yeah. Christmas tree song. Oh, we and, sang that yes, on Sunday. Yeah, yeah. I think Norway comes from the fact that like Norway always gives London or the Christmas tree they put up in London. Yes. It's cold out there, so they don't want to be outside. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, I think it's a tradition which goes back to the Second World War or something of like, or like big, big yeah, the, the big one in is it Trafalgar yeah, Square all, comes from Norway. Always comes from Norway. Yeah. It's, it's always a gift from the Norwegian government to the UK. Yeah, I'm gonna lose over the Christmas traditions. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I think then it was um, it first became a tradition in the UK then when Prince Albert, who was uh, German from, from Germany, Germany and Queen Victoria's husband. That makes sense. Brought them over and brought the tradition to the UK. Yeah. So, yeah. You get good stuff. Yeah, yeah. No, you may have a follow-up question, though. Who has a real Christmas tree? Who has a fake one? Fake one, I'm afraid. Yeah. Yeah. We used to get a real one. Nice. Well, we, <laughs> they we, just we, smell good. We, I like the we, idea we, of the real one. We mm-hmm. used to get the one, so when my mum worked at um, a school, we used to always get the Christmas tree they put up in that school reception after the term finished. Oh, that's cool. I like that. I, I don't know what we're doing this year. <laughs> otherwise, it's just otherwise it's just some sticks in the bucket. <laughs> would you would you both would you like a sweet or a chocolate anyway? I feel like I don't deserve. Yeah. No, you do because those those were good. They were good guesses, and they were equally wrong. I yes. want a marshmallow. Okay, oh. I'll take four, Henry. I'm not to be. You've only done one question. <laughs> okay. <laughs> question two. Are we ready? Mm-hmm. Which famous ma- famous. Which <laughs> which famous mathematician? Yes, which famous mathematician was born on Christmas Day? Why did they win some of them? So I know. Well, I think I know the answer. Mm. <laughs> I don't like you. <laughs> this is just outing me at being really bad at quizzes, and the way that I'm always on the winning team is I just pick the people that are really good to be on my team. You made us do a quiz for your stream anniversary. Maybe this is my This favorite. is true. And I got really annoyed with that, so maybe this is my favourite. Shit. 
Um, I, put, I put it down so quickly, but I don't know how much. It's just I hope you're not. Uh, <laughs> well, unless we put down the same answer, then you hope I am. This is true. Although, if we put down the same answer for everything, <laughs> A, I don't like it. B, get out of my head. Um, this is where someone in chat would be really helpful right now, but I don't think we have anyone that's yeah. going to chime in. Very rude. Um, okay, let's go. You ready? Yeah. No. Yeah. Newton? Yeah. Get out of my head! <laughs> well, you are, you are both correct. Yes. You both get a point. Do you want to know my logic? Go on. Think Newtons feel Christmassy. <laughs> I don't think that I named after them. Okay. Did you? I want a good key. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I'm giving myself a treat every time I ask you a question as well. You deserve a treat, Beth. I should get treats every time you two don't get the question right. Mm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I shouldn't talk with my mouth. <laughs> That's really bad. But no, and the only reason I think I knew that one already. Mm. Um, I did double check, but there's an episode of The Big Bang Theory where they're decorating. It's a Christmas episode. They're decorating the tree. Um, and Sheldon insists on putting, he's got like a bauble that is a bust of Isaac Newton. Okay. And he insists on putting that at the top of the tree instead of like an angel or a star mm. or something. Because he says that Newton was born on Christmas Day. Whereas the chances of Jesus actually having been born in yeah. December were slim. So we should celebrate Newtonness. See, I've, mm. I think I've watched most of the Big Bang series mm -hmm. and maybe that was like lurking in the back of my brain. Yeah. Um, so you were soon describing that. I'm like, I remember that. Yeah. yeah. Um, was it Newton who died on his birthday? So he died on Christmas Day. Was it Shakespeare? I can't remember. I don't think it was Shakespeare. I think Shakespeare died very near his birthday. But I feel like when I googled it, I would have noticed if Newton also, also died, died on, on Christmas, Christmas Day. Day. Yeah. yeah. Oh, more you know. There you go. More you know. Well done, guys. Yeah. <laughs> the recesses of my brain. For you. <laughs> this is why you should watch TV, kids. It's good for <laughs> pop quizzes. <laughs> It is to be fair. Yeah. yeah. Um, right, okay. Question three. How many Meet the People streams have Behind the Research done this year? And how many guests have we had on them oh. in total? Oh. You have half a mark for each. Okay. Um The music's got very techno remix. Sorry, I know you're both trying to concentrate. I'm trying to figure Yeah, you out. entertain Yeah. Chat. Wait, how many Meet the People streams and how many guests? Yes. So in Meet the People, I'm not including ones that were like a family stream. I was assuming including my introduction, my first one I was on as a Meet the People. Meet the people. Yes, I was that was a... a Meet the People. Unless that counts my answer, which I knew. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're not. In, I'm not including family streams. Yeah. But I'm just talking about our streams with guests. Well, if one's, if one's wrong, then my other one's wrong, I think. See, the cat's desperately trying to work it out. <laughs> I just feel like it's bad if I don't know. I did have to go back and, like, I, I did opt on my head, it, yeah. and then I checked. Like the Instagram posts and stuff. How many ours? Yeah. Um, I, do you want me to give you the wrong answers? <laughs> yes, no. give us all the wrong answers. <laughs> but I think it's just, it's very bad. Now. Ah, no, okay. We had those two. We've had. I did it by just. Oh, should I tell you how it worked? Well, I was going to say, yeah. Um... I could be wrong. I could be forgetting. Oh, 
Okay, I'm not sure. I'm hoping that I've got it right now. Well, we probably can play Can We Name Every Single Guest? <laughs> yeah. What do you think I'm trying to do? Yeah. Okay, I, and I, I think I have... When I, I, if I'm wrong, then you can okay. have a point anyway. So, okay. That's okay. how we will introduce a new okay. rule. <laughs> final, final answer. Yeah, let's go. You both ready? Yeah. Okay. Three, two, one. So I said 10 and 18. I said 9 and 16. So 10 is the number of streams that I had. Okay. I worked out the number of guests as only 13. Really? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Definitely 16. Okay, so I'm wrong on that. <laughs> there we go. Right, let's go through this. So you both you both get half a mark. For, no, wait, no. No, I... Sorry, Henry. No, I don't care. So, Mark, yeah, I believe yeah. that we had Henry on in February. February. Yeah. Then we had Piotr on release. Yeah. Then, I don't know. April, April. was Veronica and Leanna. Yeah. Shit, okay, so that's, eight, that's 18. Yeah. Um, then we had Kit. Yeah. Then I think we had Connor and Teresa. In June. Yeah, and then I don't think we had one in we July. Had June no, July. that was the Twitter space. That yeah. 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 And then everything gets a bit messy. Because there was the Chris and Chris stream. Well, no, I guess it was Phil and was a good... Um, okay. I don't have... I have these... That was Phil and Christian. Yeah. Um, then it... So, Biscopia was September. So, that was another two. Yeah. Yep. I'm definitely wrong there. Um, then it's the Chris and Chris stream. Yes. Yeah. Then... Wait, now how... Then, then, then alumni. Yeah, so then Emiko and Federico. Yeah. And then Matt Caroline. So, I do have all of the names written there. But that's only 17... Safety, is it? I've counted 17. Henry, Piotra, Walid, Veronica, Liana, Emiko, Federico, Kit, Connor, Teresa, um, Rosie, Victoria. Victoria, Chris, Chris, Phil, Christian, Matt, Caroline, 18. Yeah. Because it was two streams of one person. Yeah. And everyone else so, that's how, so that's how I worked out it was. <laughs> I, okay. I, I thought we only, like, so which month did we do a double group of people stream in? Because mm -hmm. you, you did. In October, I think we did both a uh, us and a, we did a family stream and no, it's well, because I was because I was calculating this twelve months a year, and we didn't do two, and we didn't do we didn't do we haven't done a meet with, well we haven't done a guest meet with people in December this month yeah we did Matt and Caroline oh two weeks ago yeah. Oh. yeah that was just about December were we playing that oh yeah it was the first of oh yeah. yeah no then I would be correct the only months we didn't do one were January and July yeah so I was counting this month and not doing yeah. one I knew we had two solo guests so it yeah. was yeah introduction yeah. yeah yeah it was two it was two A minus I'm afraid I'm two. giving Kat the points and not to you no there, no that's fine because she proved me wrong but your answer was still wrong yeah. so <laughs> no that's fine but yeah I think you're right your, your logic my, my, I, I think my logic is fine I just yeah I just yeah I think what I did, so I tallied it up as I went through, and then I think when I've written the final answer down, I've missed off a tally of five. Oh, uh, that would make sense. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, My bad. Then. Yeah, so I got them written down wrong. Did that. No, I can't. You, I was wrong. You could... Oh. I'm not going to withhold sweets from you. It's like a dog. You don't need to give a dog a treat between <laughs> Henry, you're not a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. I am proud of myself that I could remember. I feel so sorry, but I'm so sorry, Veronica and Liana. I'm, I'm, they were the ones that I forgot. I knew which month they were. Yeah, it April was a long time ago. <laughs> it was. Yeah. yeah. Um, In my defence, I was jet lagged. Yes. Yeah. I just come back from New York. And but then we had BAMC and then Easter and then yeah, you were jet lagged. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Oh. Okay. Question four. Uh, yep. yep. Right. So this is your first proper mathsy question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> counting. Yeah. Arguably, this is just counting as well. Oh, so, not the two kids. <laughs> if instead of containing one chocolate per day, an advent calendar contained the same number of chocolates as the date behind each door, how many would you have consumed by Christmas Day? <laughs> is the, the is the question 
the question is clear. It's like you have one yeah. chocolate behind number one, two behind number yeah, two, yeah. and so on. Yeah, okay. I can't do maths. We know. <laughs> None of us can, don't worry. I've also just realised a nice little piece of trivia about the ads for this question. Oh. So, yeah. <clears throat> Is that it? Yeah. I'm very amused that I was going to let people in chat give you clues and help and nobody's just like yeah. nobody's talking yeah so oh the fuck saved my brain I'm nearly there. Okay. So you, so you know what an advent candle for? Yes. Uh, so so what else? I I didn't get a candle, but I have a candle this year. But because I've been so busy, I've not <laughs> had time to burn. I've not had time to burn it down yet this year. So I'm still on day three. Right. Okay. Do you not like? So if I miss a day because I'm out, then I will try and catch up on the next. Yeah, time I'm busy. Right. Okay. I'm not having like, time to set fire to things. Okay. Okay. Are we ready? Yeah. Go. 300. 300. Yeah. There you go. Although I feel like. Yeah. I hate you. <laughs> because this is why I thought this was an easy question. <laughs> you, you can not... have like, and not a real bonus point, but you can have like a, a bonus point for effort. Thank you. Either effort. Yeah. What did you do it? I added, so that's 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 3, three is 6, two. 6 plus oh. 4 is 10, 10 plus 5 is 15, 15 plus 6 is 21. 21 plus 7 is 28, 28 plus 8 is 36, 36 so is 45, 45 <laughs> is 55. I'm not fucking done here. Yeah, 55 I mean, plus 11 is 66, 66 plus 12 is 78, 78 plus 13 is 91, 91 plus 14 is 105, 105 plus 15 is 120, 120 plus 16 is 136, 136 plus 17 is 153, 153 plus 18 is 171, 171 is 19, 171 plus 19 is 190, 190 plus 20 is 210, 210 plus 21 is 231, 231 plus 22 is 253, 253 plus 23 is 276, and 276 plus 20 is 300 yeah if we, did, if we yeah. did still have people watching it before then then i think we just lost them i just found um, 25 by 24 and divided the answer by two because you the formula, the, the formula is adding up a range of numbers is n times n plus one all divided by two i like my way more <laughs> which one trivia is um i can't remember it's famous some famous mathematician was given whatever it's gauss maybe it gauss was like nine or something it was like his teacher was like because he was ahead of his class his teacher was like ah oh, i'll keep i will keep it quiet yeah. i don't all the numbers between one and a hundred oh yeah, and then yeah, yeah, 50 yeah yeah and he just did yeah, and yeah. He just did. but what i realized while you two were figuring that out um was that if you do you n times n plus one over two if you cancel the two with the 24 you get 25 times 12 and that's 25th of the 12th it's a day of christmas day that's really cute yeah. i like that yeah i was quite proud of that that was a non-intentional so, yeah. um but no well done you both got a point on that round <laughs> no yeah that question wrong um, <laughs> um, sweetie yet for this round oh very sorry true. sorry we want cat was too busy reading out her Feet of engineering. I'm proud of myself, and I think it just is a testament to my ability to that, do maths. That, that was the engineer's approach. <laughs> yep, it worked though. Yeah, it, it worked. worked. <laughs> okay, we ready for question five? Yeah. Right. Which famous celestial object was discovered on Christmas night, 1758? Yes, I'm just guessing. I'm sure we might have discovered. 
As in... First seen and recorded, presumably. It was not the first time it had been seen. It was the first time that it was recorded and understood as to why... Like, yeah, I don't want to give too much away. Ready? Yeah. Amy's Comet? Um, Hallie's Comet, but yes. What's the Hallie's... at this time of year in your kitchen? <laughs> Why do I... Is, is Simpsons it... quote. Ah, okay. Okay. No, I didn't. I didn't think of it. I didn't get well, the mood. Okay. Unfortunately. So, yes. Henry, it oh, was... So I was, was Hallie's Comet, not Hallie's Hallie, Comet. Hallie, it's a double L. Uh, Edmund Hallie. Hallie. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, no, it was... He he did, he observed it on Christmas night, seventeen fifty eight, which is why it had been seen before because obviously it's orbiting the Earth. Mm. But it was only at that point in time he realised what it was, what it was, and did the calculations to predict when it would next reappear. Ah, and then seventy six years later, its period is roughly seventy six years. So at that point in time, he then passed away. Mm. Um, so it was named posthumously. Ah. Uh, Fair enough. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I mean, I assume prior to that time it was like, it's a bad omen. Yeah. Yes, probably. Yeah. yeah. Um, but no, I think that was, yeah, he did the, he was the one that was credited because he did the prediction of when it would come round again, not necessarily the discovery. Yeah. But yeah, it was still discovered as to what it was and understood more. So that's pretty cool. We love naming random shit. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I assumed that my answer was wrong because I'm like, I feel like people have seen it before that, that and it happens quite regularly. Yeah. But okay. <laughs> I also couldn't think of anything better. So we went with that. Okay. All right. Question number six. Are we ready? Yes. Yeah. If you should if you should cook a turkey for twenty minutes per kilogram, plus seventy minutes for a two to four kilogram turkey. Or plus 90 minutes for a 4 to 10 kilogram turkey. So you can have to say this again. <laughs> How long should I cook my 8 pound turkey for to the nearest minute? Oh. Okay. So you should cook a turkey yeah. for 20 minutes yeah. per kilogram. Yeah. Then on top of that, depending on how much it weighs, you have to add an extra number of minutes. Yeah. If it weighs between 2 and 4 kilograms, you should add 70 minutes onto the cooking time. If it weighs between four and ten kilograms, you should add ninety minutes onto the cooking time. I mean, is it heavier than ten kilograms or less than two? It doesn't kilograms? fit in your oven. Well, this is less than two kilograms. Yeah. You don't need. I've given you these two ranges because. Was well, it exactly four kilograms? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. I think you should dock in points. <laughs> he can't have a sweet whether he gets there. Yeah. 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 Speaking of the last question, even. You don't have the other So, yeah, so how long should I cook my eight pound turkey for? That's quite cheap. Oh, fucking hell, pounds. You can just not answer it if you, yeah. And I, I will, I've said to the nearest minute, but I will accept a range given that I'm asking you to. Oh! Oh, fucking carrots. Let's go. <laughs> okay, there is context to that. Okay. Um, so, yeah. How many pounds is your eight? Eight pounds. Are you okay? I'm seriously. I'll explain while they're um. We were talking about like stocking fillers and like getting popular maths books at Christmas. I think. Um. So what we'd usually be doing, sort of, as a kid, like tucked away in a corner, and then Cat said that she it would be popular science and maths books for her. Um. So we did a, we we did a. We realized that we still had the. The promotion thing on from Kit's stream. Um, so yeah, if anybody needs a stocking filler, then Kit's book is a yeah. <laughs> there is context to what I said, by the way. I'm not just. Carrots. <laughs> I used to work in a greengrocer's. Oh. And people would come in asking for pounds of carrots, and our scales used to work in kilograms. Okay. So I would have to do that conversion. So yeah. I believe yeah. that I know the conversion. However, if I fucked it up. Yes. 
I don't I think if you've got the conversion wrong, but the calculation right for whatever conversion you've used, mm. then I think I'll give you half a mark. I think that's fair. Um, but yeah, it's for the same reason that like I know how many inches there are in a metre. Okay. And I think it's roughly 39. Mm. Just because we would always, we at my auntie's cake shop where I worked, we would always sell ribbons by the metre. Uh, okay. But if people needed, so like it would be like a 10 inch cake. Yeah. So then we'd yeah, have to do the conversion. Yeah. I enjoy the old timey shop <laughs> <laughs> more. It just yeah. like pops up every once in a while. You're like, oh, this random skill of being able to tell you what a, I don't know. Chinese pear is. What is, yeah. okay, what, is, what is a Chinese pear? So it's a pear that tastes like an apple. So they have a much harder texture than a pear. Like a normal pear is, like an English pear is quite soft. Um, and it typically is quite small. And then it's like longer than like an apple, right? Whereas a Chinese pear is much more round. Oh, it's oh, little firmer. Ones, yeah. yeah, they have very pale skin. Um, but people would come in being like, I don't like pears for whatever reason. I'd be like, have you considered this okay. one? Um, or I'd have to recommend a type of apple. Mm -hmm. So like Brave Ear, get them in. Jazz apples are quite nice. No one wants to pay for a uh, Pink Lady. I like Pink. I buy Pink Lady. I like Pink Lady. Yeah. Okay. Both ready? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's go. 146? Oh, I said 150, approximately. Okay. Right. So the answer that I calculated was 143. Oh, okay. So I said I would accept a range, but maybe let's go through your working so i said that it was 454 grams per pound okay <laughs> so how many 454 times eight what have you so no so i then rounded to 500 and said it was about four kilos and then worked on a cookie that's about four kilos because you said a range so i felt like that was fine okay <laughs> uh, I, I so i did but i know that 95 kilograms is approximately 200 pounds so use that as a ratio times that by eight to get the correct together with turkey to three point eight pounds and then use that to calculate the correct answer. Okay, the, the, <laughs> I really can't be bothered to like check either of your maths to be fair. I believe it so so it I a pound is no a kilo is two point two pounds. Yeah. Was what I was yeah. So I think if you divide eight by two point two, that gives you how many kilograms it is. Okay, it's five four five. Uh, no, it's not. It's, wait, what? How many grams are in a pound? I know there's 25 grams to an ounce and then 16 of those to a pound. We're both approximately correct. Oh, sod it, it's Christmas. It's 454. I was right. I had the right to explain. It's 454 okay. grams to a pound. Okay. That's about 500 grams. So it's about half a kilo per pound. Yeah. It's like a, it's, uh, in terms of like when you're measuring every single that's it. Okay, it's about half a pound. Okay, yeah. half a kilo. Which, which, is about, which is both the value of a pound. You added on your 70. Did you add on your 70? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I will give you both a point. I think both our turkeys wouldn't be too point. Wouldn't be too okay. Okay. I even went the right way because I was like, oh, but if it's four, because I was using a four approximation, I'm like, four's in both the ranges. So yeah. because I know it's slightly under that half a pound, mm -hmm. half a kilo, then I went with the smaller range. And the answer is, I would stand there every 10 minutes and prod it until it was the right temperature. <laughs> you seen a video where somebody cooks a chicken by slapping it? No, and I don't want to. <laughs> You're going to break Twitch of service. <laughs> oh, God. How many times? No, we're not doing that. <laughs> we'll do it after the stream. Okay. We ready on question seven? <laughs> Emotionally, no. <laughs> so, what is the chemical symbol of the metal tinsel was originally made from? I feel like this is a trick question. Oh, it, in I, what sense? <laughs> I can't remember the answer. Well, regardless, regardless if it's a trick question, I still can't remember. Um, I know this before, so this is one that I like found from like Googling okay. Christmas yeah. trivia. Okay. <laughs> so I f <laughs> it might well be on the, the what seriously is asking when is Ave Maria Techno Mix coming on? It might like, be. Yeah, it might be. This is this is very groovy. Mm. Yeah. Um, it's not a trick question. It's genuinely, yeah. <laughs> no, can't we? Mm, bollocks. Um, I don't think that has a chemical symbol. 
<laughs> Why do I feel like this behind the research stream definitely contains more swearing than it normally does as well? Because I'm on camera again. <laughs> and there's no guests for me to behave in front of. That's true. That's true. Uh, um, I'm being so dense. Is it a dense metal? Probably relatively. Mm. No. It's not your group one metals, I'll give you that. Mm -hmm. There's that only acid over and sulfur and hydrogen. You can go through all of them if you want. Uranium, plutonium, germanium, and iron, and ruthenium, ruthenium, uranium, europium, zirconium, lutetium, vanadium, and lithium, elastine, elastine, iridium, and gold, protonium, neptunium, and gallium. Pliodine, and thorium, and thymium, and thallium. <laughs> can you tell I didn't have friends growing up? <laughs> Fun facts with cat. I'm ready. Pick an answer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not to rush you, but like. Yeah, boy. Boy. <laughs> okay. Ready? I think I'm yeah. wrong anyway. <laughs> so is that titanium? Shit. Yeah, I, I know. It's, I was going for tinsel, tea, tin, tin. tin. Well, yeah. that's not what the tin is. Yeah, tin, tin is SN. It's tin ah, SN. I think TI. Let me I just. No, TI is definitely titanium. Just, okay. So you're both wrong. Yeah. yeah. Um, it is AG. Oh, it's literally really silver. Yes. Yeah. So tinsel was originally only for very rich. Because it was made from silver that was like spun oh, into like tin. a very very fine like wire, and then like made. Is it called tinsel though? Because tinsel feels like it was made out of tin. That's why it's called tinsel. No, like I didn't maybe look enough into it. But was, yeah. it, was it was it like was like the tinsel like, like a cheaper version was then made yeah. out of tin? Yeah. And then well, became... the other one is because uh, isn't it, isn't it, there's a term associated with silver where you tin a metal? Like the tinning process was it silver? Alloyed with tin is what they used to spin it from. Maybe. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So but, there's possibly a reason yeah. behind I mean, either way, we're both wrong. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> behind why it's called tinsel, but there you go. So it was originally made and it was only for the very rich mm. uh, because not everybody could obviously afford like silver decorations, yeah, real so. silver decorations in their house. Yeah. So, yeah. Sorry, yeah. No. Like, I knew that that wasn't tin, but I knew that I forgot what tin was. So but I feel like ti as a silver metal, titanium yeah. is still a good guess. So, yeah, there we go. Um, I knew right. I was wrong. I just didn't think to pick on. Question eight, you're going to hate me. Oh, uh, like, yeah, wait. Another match one. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> this Christmas is on a Monday, but since the turn of the 20th century, how many times has it previously been on a Monday? And you can have a bonus point if you can tell me when it's next on a Monday. When you say turn of the century. So since inclusive? 1900. Okay. Ah. Oh. Nice. The yeah. turn of the 20th century. Uh, um, <laughs> is this is, is this a bit mean? No, it's pot, it's doable, it's just bloody awful. I think I can get it better than Henry, so we have to stick with the question. Hmm. Okay. I was gonna say you can rough you can roughly guess, right? Yeah. There's been what, yeah. Save mental maths. What year is it now? Twenty three. Yeah. Not including this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, so we can you can give yourself a ballpark. If I just do like one hundred and twenty-three divided by seven. That's what I did. <laughs> 
That's what I did. Right? Yeah, you've both done that. So that, that gives you like a rough idea, right? Mm. And then it's just... Yep. Fine. What was the question? <laughs> so, Christmas Day this year is on a Monday. Uh huh. But so not including this year. Okay. Since the turn of the twentieth century, uh-huh. how many times has it previously been on a Monday? So from nineteen hundred to twenty twenty two, effectively. And then there was a bonus point if you can tell me when it's next on a Monday. Okay. Okay. You both ready? Yeah, Henry's got it right. That, that is very wrong. <laughs> I'm glad. I think both right. Just... Yeah, they're both right. Nice. Yes. It so is. Seals don't count. They didn't do anything. No, it does. So the leap year goes. So next will be Wednesday, and then. No, no, not for the next one, but for the previous. The previous ones. one. If you just so divide there's... 123 by seven, you get 17 and a bit. Yeah. So the bits yeah. cancel out with the number of times. So I think because it. some of them, so some of the gaps, I can tell you when they are, or when they were rather. So you've got 1905, 1911. Mm. So there was like six years between those, and then the next one was in 1916. So that was five years. Mm-hmm. And then again, because of the way leap years fall, so the one after that was 1922. Mm-hmm. And then after that, it wasn't an, on a Monday until 1933. Because if the leap year means that you skip the Monday, mm-hmm. then you have a gap of 11 years before you have... Yeah. But then the others are sometimes yeah. then, then I, I, so I, short. I, yeah, but then that's really annoying as a question because it's like the answer is ignored. The thing that makes it complicated and just gets the thing that's obvious. It's, well, it's a big enough range of leap years have cancelled out, essentially. Yeah, but it's a, it's annoying that the leap years cancel out in the first place. I was going to try and like actually work it out from because you could you could like, basically go through each year and work out what day of the week it would be on. You tried very hard. You could still have a marshmallow. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for my participation. For <laughs> Should we do the scores on the doors? So what? What were scores? On we the are doors? we are halfway through. Okay. So we we've done eight questions. Um. Oh no, Henry. Sorry, Henry gets a bonus point for that one. We are halfway through. Eight questions. Cat, you're on four points, and Henry's on six. But bear in mind that you were both on four points until yeah. just before that question. So That's it's still all to play for. Um. Right. Are we ready for question nine? Wait, where's my honorary bonus point for being a smart ass? That's more. That's a more. That was not in the. Yeah, that was not in the description. Fine. Okay. Um, Which temperature scale was also discovered on Christmas Day? Aside from Halley's Comet. I know it's not a temperature scale. That was a really badly worded question, but you know what I mean. (laughs) <laughs> there were other things discovered on Christmas Day. Yes, that was my point. Yeah. We ready? Yeah. Yeah. No, oh, it was right. actually Celsius. Ah. Mm-hmm. Why? Um, I don't know. It was under Celsius that dis- that invented the Celsius temperature scale. I know. I never would have guessed. Should have taken time off at Christmas. Yeah. I never would have guessed Celsius's first name was Anders. More you know. Mm. This was again just googling. So I didn't know this. I was just looking for like maybe mathsy, sciencey things that happened. Um, I back it. Okay. Yeah, but again, both reasonable guesses. Mm-hmm. Both right. Yeah, same way. Yes. Um, okay. Question ten. In behind the research is twelve days of Christmas. Oh yeah. How many minor breakdowns did Cat have, and what was Seb going to on day seven? And that's half a mark for each. Was it this year? This was last year. See, this I wasn't was involved. This year. You should watch it. Yeah. And you were in it. No, I wasn't. Yeah, because we filmed choir at some point. Filmed the yes. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's to be you, bitch. You, this is why you should get an Instagram account, Henry. To be fair. And follow us on Instagram. So should everybody else. <laughs> follow us on Instagram. <laughs> Did you just do a <laughs> turn to the camera like, 
Well, it was, I turned to the, the chat, but then I'm not looking at the camera. But what was yes. it going to do? What was the question? It was how many... So, how many minor breakdowns did Kat have? Yeah. And what was Seb going to on day seven? So, I can use deductions. So, it's definitely not seven minor breakdowns. Yes. And you've only then got yeah. ten other numbers to choose from for Kat's. <laughs> Let's see. Let's go. <laughs> That seriously did a solid and full social when we were all desperately like floundering, being like, Is it there? Is it there? <laughs> oh, no, I, and, it. I know, I know. And then somebody in chat just, yes, appreciate it. Yes. Sure. Ready? Yeah. Off we go. Nine? Ten. Yes. Ten. Was nine. Was nine. That would, on day seven, so no, it was no. seven no. social events. No. Because there was an absolute nightmare <laughs> with like, How do you sing? Da, 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 with seven social events and then everyone kept going events and events yeah and okay. social and social events yes and it, it, was, it was chaos yeah <laughs> i'd be i mean i probably have seven supervisor meetings in a day that's yeah, basically it. Um, i definitely i definitely have like two a week sometimes yeah yeah um but no so that was a little throwback to no, last year i'm like i wonder if i could actually remember all of it to be honest go on then I can't. Uh, <laughs> Between on us. the 12th day of Christmas, my research gave to me... I don't think I know. I don't think I know 12. 12 and 11 is hard. 10... You don't sing down as much, like, when yeah. you're singing it. Nine... Uh, I can't remember nine. It was eight cups of coffee. It was seven social events. It was six something it was five breakthroughs mm -hmm. four oh i'm really struggling what was one i don't even remember what ron was and a postgraduate degree oh uh, okay do, do i need to find the reel on instagram um, and play it no no no. okay so there was there was cups of coffee there was breakthroughs and breakdowns yeah there was supervisor meet at six supervisions Su supervisions yes. yeah um there was what else makes up a PhD? What did non just like to know? Oh, um, conferences. Yeah, like seminars. But yes, then, there were there were three seminars. I think that might have been four. I think that was me. On yeah. Um, oh, I'm really struggling actually. Um, yeah, I don't oh, know. we we yeah. should play it. Yeah, go for it. Okay, I'll put it near the microphone so that chat can hear. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you're not familiar, we did like a little thing on our Instagram last year of like we did sort of Easter eggs as that as it were yeah. in like reels of like PhD in the live videos, and then they're actually all leading up to the twelve days of research. And then we got Maths Choir to sing it, so it was this might be first. <laughs> Oh. Okay, so it was um twelve. I've already forgotten. <laughs> Twelve. Can you still hear us now? Yeah, yeah. It just cut out. When I think it was too loud. It was oh, like, okay, okay. Um, well, we, now we've listened to it. We can see. If, so it was twelve yeah. unsolved problems. Eleven weeks of teaching. Yeah. Ten minor breakdowns. Nine cups of coffee. Eight, eight coding errors. Yes. Seven social events. Six, six supervisions. Five breaks. <laughs> um, four seven seven cards. Three papers. Papers. Yes. Two. <laughs> two. Was two. Two would have been you. Shit. <laughs> two. I did breakdowns, um, supervisions. And... Stipend payments. Do I hear stipend no. payments? Nah. Uh, two. 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 It really doesn't <laughs> listen to it. Do you think we were worrying about you? Graduate degree. Have yeah. You, have you had a productive day? This was your. Too much marking. Oh, too much pun. That's all. Right. 
Yeah, because we realised we gave me the, like, cat sad and stressed ones. Yes. Because you three too small. Them. Yeah. Oh, I asked for breakdowns. So it's six yeah. five. Well, if, if you can't put a random reel up hiding and say Seb's having a breakdown, man's too happy. Yeah. yeah. Putting me on for you, like, cat sad and like, the other tracks. Um, but now we're even again on stores. You know, ah, yeah. Like, okay. Oh no, he had an extra one. Because I was two edge, wasn't I? Yeah. I was worth two, for both were said. No, it was one of each. Oh, oh. Half each. Spire you, got pranked, you, you got pranked there. Yeah. By the prank patrol. <laughs> um, that unlocked a memory. Maybe <laughs> my sweet. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> we haven't got any marshmallows left, so. No, I got you, know, you don't. Henry, I know what we said, that I, I can throw one at you if you want. If that's a <laughs> it's like you still get a sweet, but I could just throw it out. Get a get chance to win a bonus point if you catch it in your mouth. I'm not going to be able to do that. <laughs> Try. <laughs> I was going to say. You're closer. Okay, from now on, that is an option. If you get the question wrong, you get the chance, you get to like stick or twist, basically. Oh. You can either twist. <laughs> you can stick and just get zero points, or you can twist and I can throw a sweet, and if you catch it in your mouth, you get a point. We have to like up and up with the pen. Okay, that's fair. We're doing I mean, that. I mean, doing that. Okay, right. We have another maths question. Again, wrong those. No. In the story of the Nativity, no. the wise men travel to see the baby Jesus and arrive on the twelfth day. This journey, by modern estimations, would have been around six hundred miles. If they were to make it by the twelfth day, as the story suggests, but only travelled for twelve hours a day, given that they need to sleep and eat and rest and whatever, um, how fast would their camels have had to travel in kilometres per hour? When do they arrive on the twelfth day? Do they arrive after they finish travelling? We're just on the. Just, I I went for like at the end of the twelfth day, okay. so it's like it's twelve days, but not like, yeah. Just assume 12 lots of 24 hours. And again, I will accept a range for the answer. I enjoyed this question. <laughs> Turn the music down. Yeah, I mean, is that better seriously or a little bit more oh yeah seriously said did we fill out the risk assessment for choking um, and she's like no but we it's, it's I signed my soul away a long time ago it's fine yeah um, do, do any of us know like basic CPR yeah I there we go that's fine that's the risk assessment yeah that's that's an issue don't choke Henry Otherwise, we're fine. I think it's that. No, it's... No, it's... Oh, I don't know my conditions. Well, wait, Can anyone want... in chat Oh, help? did you want it in kilometres an hour? Yeah. yeah. So, okay, I was going to say, if people in chat want to give clues, uh, please don't give them the answers, but if they need clues on things like mathematical conversions and... No. Fine. Stop being, stop being an idiot. I'm trying. Okay, I'm going with that. Fuck it. Final okay. answer. So, no. you, do you want? Do you want a clue? No. no. Maybe. One one mile is no. 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 No clues. No. Scripts. Wait, have I got a conversion right now? I'm I'm guessing a conversion. I want bonus points for trying. Okay. Uh, so that's. I think. One mile is 1.6 kilometres. Am I right? I think that's right. Well, you, you kilometres is definitely, else. like, the equivalent kilometres is definitely the bigger number than the equivalent. Oh, I was going to do that the wrong way around. Oh. So yes. I need to... Seriously says yes, 1.6. One mile is 1.6 kilometres. So one mile is 1.6 kilometres.
Let's say I will accept a range. Ready? I'm just confusing myself. Okay, we'll, we'll give Henry another minute. How does maths work? <laughs> so, do you need the question again? No, no, okay. I just need to not be fit. Can I have a chance to win a sweep? No, because that's only if you get the question wrong. I've got previous questions wrong. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. It's done well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the music is definitely like... Very epic. Um, yeah, it's a vibe. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, edit mine. I'm just curious now. Just clean long division. <laughs> so that goes in maps. <laughs> maps activate. Oh, fuck yeah, I don't care. <laughs> just, okay, I'll give you, like I say, I will accept a range. Okay, fine. Are you, are you both ready? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I calculate, oh, yeah, yeah. go on. I said for you. Six to seven. Okay, right. Okay, so I calculate, calculated it to be 6.7 uh, meters per hour. So, yes, six to seven oh, is no. the range. I thought it was, oh, I did the wrong way. I thought it was almost 600 kilometers and we were going to miles an hour. Oh, no, do you want the question again? I said no. I said no. Okay, so can't you get a point and a sweep? Henry, would you like to? Oh, let's go. You want to, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so badly, right. <laughs> it's fine, we'll save it for the new year. <laughs> okay, we're now even. Yes, you're now even. Oh, I think you're quite off, to be honest. I enjoyed that, though. Can you get more questions? Well, <laughs> you just start to keep chucking sweets at me. Mm -hmm. It could do. Okay, so, there's a follow-up question. You don't need to no, okay. get your answer. Um, no, no, sort of, but I can give you information again. It's fine, definitely. So, yeah. according to Google... <laughs> that well-known science yeah. source, yeah. A camel can obtain speeds of up to 65 kilometres per hour for short sprints. Assuming they could have kept up this speed for the required 12 hours at a time, yeah. how quickly could the wise men have got there? And it was 600 miles. Yes, 600 miles. And what was our conversion? One, one mile is 1. 1.6 kilometres. Okay, thank you. I just, I, am I the only person that was highly amused by the fact that camels can actually run at 65 kilometres per yes, hour? Yeah, that's impressive. <laughs> I think I knew they could run pretty bloody quickly. But, but you just don't think of it, do you? Like, No. To be fair, I don't think camels particularly often either. No, no. So. And again, I think it will come out as like a a weird number, but I'm just looking for like in on what day would they have arrived, basically. Yeah. So uh, So uh, we can do some pretty good approximation rooms. So That's nice to keep the kids quiet. <laughs> you just want the day they arrived on. Yeah, so not the hour, just like if you get something that's like point six, then it would you I suppose you round it down because it's still within the yeah. Give me a minute. And how fast, sorry, how fast, you, and you gave us a speed in kilometers an hour, wasn't it? It was 65. 65 kilometers an hour, yeah. Been an idiot? Probably. I've been an idiot during this, I'm not pretty. 
Do any other camel facts? No, it was just that one. Again, I don't think about camels does all it, that often. Does it depend on how many humps they have and vector speed? Possibly. Do, do an, is it androgynous? No. no. And, uh, Aberdrain? Aberdeen? <laughs> Types of camel. <laughs> one of them is drom dromedary. Yes. I don't know whether that's the one hump or the, the two, two hump kind. No. I don't think... There's an Aberdeen. We, there might be androgynous camels. I don't know. You'd have to ask them. Yeah. Like, yeah. What the fuck was I just doing? <laughs> that. Wait, no, why did I do <laughs> Oh, I've turned into Henry. This is terrible. <laughs> uh, so, let me. Sorry. I think it's, it's, it's going to be interesting to see how you calculate this. It was 65 kilometers an hour, yeah? Yes. <clears throat> Yeah, I didn't quite think this through when like you guys were actually going to be busy thinking, and I'd just be sat here. Yeah, like, talking. Yeah, yeah. Not so. Like, you should yeah. be your knitting. <laughs> <laughs> um, Could have entertained myself quite happily. Unfortunately, it requires me to know my times tables, and I really don't. <laughs> it's surprising when you don't have to do any numerics, 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 numeracy, numeracy for years. Oh, no. Did I get an answer that was bigger than 12? No, I'm just struggling with my times tables. <laughs> well, you could get an answer bigger than 12, so it just means they arrive on day two instead of day one. Oh, no, the number of days. Okay, mm. sorry. Yeah. Because yeah. if they're meant to be going a lot quicker, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, bigger than 12. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. Seeing that? Yeah. Ready? Two. Two. Yes. And in the morning. I think, uh, yeah, was it like, was it, was it like one point... I don't, I don't calculate, I literally just crap. It's 80 kilometres a day they can do. Yeah, that they need to, yeah. Well, so, no, they, they travel 780 kilometres in a day. They travel... Yeah, but it's, they only need, they can do 60, uh, sorry, 80 kilometres an hour. Yeah. It's yeah. what they need to do. So it, yeah, I, I, yeah, I just calculated the speed in kilometres an hour and then just see, saw how many. I don't know what I did. I don't, well, you got the right answer, that's what I was looking for. I converted the 600 into kilometres, so you get 960 kilometres. Yeah. So they would do... If they, oh, no, if they, they did divide it, that by 65, right? Yes. Yeah. No. no. I went, I divided that by 12 and saw it was 80, and so that's a little bit ah, okay. that's between 65. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. I, I, did, I wanted to avoid division, so I just did how converted into kilometres an hour and then just times the speed by 12 to see how many how far they could go each day. I'm sort of about 780, so it's a little bit over the day. Okay. Well, whatever works. Yes. Okay. Question 13. In what decade were Christmas crackers invented? Decade? Yes. And what I find really amusing is that either if either of you paid attention to the leaflet in the Christmas crackers oh. at the department Christmas yes. meal... No, because yeah. I tried going like, oh, and then you were like, oh, I don't like riddles. And then I don't like riddles. Like, yeah, so but on the other it. side, they got information about who first invented the Christmas crackers. Yes. I was actually going to say, the interesting question, which century do you think it was? That's the same question. No, decade. No, decade. What, what century? You can have half a point for century. No. Say <laughs> Yeah, you can have half a point See, if you get you can answer out loud. <laughs> half a point if you get the right century, a full point if you get the right decade. Well, we've said different ones, so that's fine. Okay, okay. someone's decided that talking out loud for the right <laughs> help. I don't know if you're going to the like psych out group, but ready? Yeah, right. 1930. I was 1840. You're right. Yeah. So you're very wrong. <laughs> um, 
Okay, so... Am well, I bonus point? Yeah, I'm just genius. What? Am I bonus point nice as well? No. Okay. You, you, you can have a sweet. Yeah, yeah, no, but was, 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 it, was, it, was it the 1940s? 1840s. Oh, yeah. oh. No, no, but it wasn't a bonus point. It was you can have half if you get the right decade, uh, if you yeah, get the right century. Sorry. Yeah, and then full point if you get the right decade. Yeah, which would you have a preference be... of sweet? Um, are there any that don't look are going to kill me? The cola bottle. You want... Are you going to double or nothing? Yeah. The one... <laughs> cola bottles. <laughs> <laughs> Very sad. Wait, can I stand up? How oh, about I don't know. know. So you're, doing... Like I want, like... you're doing the same thing with your arms I was. <laughs> Okay, ready? <laughs> okay, okay. That doesn't count. It doesn't count for it, mind that. You want the law? <laughs> Try again. No, no. Okay. Okay, my, my full count. I was gonna say, my throwing skills are not best. No, I, yeah, but it's a difficult. You wanted it to go up. It's gonna stand up, so say, it's easier away. to just meet it in your face from this angle. <laughs> okay. Right, so this question has three parts. Cool. But you get one mark for the first part and then half a mark each for the follow ups. Okay. So, um, who holds the record for the most UK Christmas number ones? And then follow up questions is how many do they have? And what were they commonly known to be eating in them? Oh, it's. Um... <laughs> Was the second question bit? How many? How many like active um, records? How many Christmas UK number ones do they have? So it's who holds the record for the most? How many is that? And then what were they known to be eating them? I don't think I've ever heard a song, and this person I think it is, they're deeply annoying. So I thought the the third part could either help or hinder. Yeah, so so if it's who I think I wouldn't I wouldn't know mm. if it wasn't the third like mm -hmm. famous. Are you really struggling? A little bit, yeah. So does it help if I tell you that it's from recent years? Like the the current the last year's Christmas UK number one gave them the record. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, go. Lad baby. Me. Who? <laughs> sausage Who? rolls. Sausage rolls. So yes, you can both have. So Henry, you can have one and a half. Yeah. Because you're correct. It is lad baby. And yes, they sing about sausage rolls, mm -hmm. so you can have half a mark. Excellent. Um, Four. It's actually five. Is it five? Yeah. So Is I think... It the same song? No. So they originally did We Built This City, and it was We Built This City on Sausage Rolls. Uh, okay. And then there's been... They did a Band-Aid version, and then they've done like... Yeah. I just assumed it was like a COVID thing. I just assumed it started... Well, I, cause no. I, like, I, I first heard about it like in 2020, and I said, oh... oh okay. It's a COVID thing because then, like, so 2021 had Elton John and stuff in it. Yes, okay. they've actually got like big names to come on board. And uh, yeah, so but yeah, we listened to Bing Crosby and the Rat Pack at Christmas. We don't really like that. <laughs> yeah, it's like, like I'm not. I, 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 no, I, I never, I didn't know he existed beyond like just like. Yeah, I, I remembered there was something about sausage rolls, but I couldn't tell you. Initially, yeah. I was going to be like, is it like the X Factor? Because so many X Factor artists. Like, under the label, I, just, I think I would have said the same thing, but even then, so Lad Baby, when he got his fourth, I think at that point he was actually joint first with the Beatles. Oh, okay. So the Beatles at that point had had the most UK Christmas yeah. ones, and that was four. So, so it was only nice. last year when, but so even X Factor hadn't managed to push the Beatles off the top spot. But like, I mean, I, well, I'm assuming it wouldn't be X Factor's not the artist. X Factor. No, but they could be like, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I know what you mean. Um, so yeah, there you go. Would you 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 both get sweet? Right. Yeah, I've never milked it up. I've had too much like okay. jelly sweet now. Do you like jelly sweets? Mm. 
Thing you'll be sick. <laughs> That's great. Please don't do that on camera. Okay. You know TRS, won't you? Yeah. Right. Yeah, Super Twig says that stat is proof that this country is a mess. Just a teeny bit. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, arguably hearing about sausage rolls is, it's sort of festive. I think for number two, there's another time of the day close to number two in 2022, which would have been very funny. But both the band name and the song probably could have been mentioned on. Right, okay. Moving on. Yes. Um, question 15. Yep. We're very near the end now. Um, so I don't know about you guys, but I am dreaming of a white Christmas. And specifically one made of kosh snowflakes. Uh-huh. Yeah. We are pronouncing that as kosh. Yeah. Because I think that's the safest option. Yep. Um, so what would the perimeter of a kosh snowflake be after N iterations? where N is the age of the youngest member of Behind the Research, divided by their cohort number. Shit. <laughs> you think I know how old any of you are? You should know which of us is the youngest. And you, you should be able to figure it out. I, I will tell you now that N works out to be a whole number. Okay, well that helps. <laughs> How do you make a kosh snowflake? So, it's, yeah, I wait, know. sorry, are we starting from unit? So, yeah, unit yeah. triangle. So, you, you have a triangle, yeah. and at every iteration, you basically, you split each of the, the sides of it yeah. into three, yeah. and then add an extra, tri like, triangle. Tri equilateral triangle onto the, the edge, okay. as it were. And equilateral triangle is generation zero. Yes. So then the first iteration will be you've added on three extra triangles, one to each side. Yeah, so... Again, there is a formula for calculating the perimeter. And I used to know it, but as we're doing everything, we're doing it by hand. Yes, and this is the formula is something that if chat wanted to help you with it... I know it tends to, in, tends to infinity, it tends to infinity. Yes. The perimeter tends to infinity, but like the area is finite. Yeah. It's a finite. I think the, thing. the area works out to be something like it's either eight or nine fifths the original area. Yeah. yeah. Okay. When you add triangles, you add two to each side. Stop thinking. <laughs> this is this is, requires like a little bit. So you add two. Yeah. Oh, one in the middle. Yes. Oh, okay. I was... So you add. Well, you basically split it. And like add a triangle to the central section yeah, of cool. each side of the existing triangle. Why the fuck did my waving scale? Yeah. <clears throat> this would be nuts. Okay, and you, you will get two marks for this question, given that you have to figure out how many iterations you need to do and then get the right answer from that. Camera's still going, so that's good news. What? <laughs> just you filling the air. Yeah, I am. <laughs> and I'm genuinely like, if you two are so engrossed in your quiz and the camera decides to die again, then I'm the one that has to sort it out. We've both got some pretty sinister looking drawings on your toilets. They're just like some kind of spiky rage thing, like. <laughs> okay. Is a fraction acceptable? It shouldn't be a fraction. It shouldn't be a fraction. It should come out as a whole number. Oh, that's interesting. Good. <laughs> <laughs> At least they think. 
I can't remember what the val what the thing is now, the formula. Oh, wait now. Wait, yeah. Uh, as I say, I was wrong earlier, so I will allow. No, it should be a whole number, I think. I. Wait, maybe not. No, I don't know. Let's find out soon. Oh, shit. Yeah, I might be wrong. So I think you are. Yeah. Bye -bye. yeah. I've just read the wrong thing on Wikipedia. So there you go. Okay, so I think Oh my god, stop moving. <laughs> yeah, definitely turns out I should check my answers more thoroughly before I Okay, I think I'm ready. Yeah, yeah go. It's Sixty four over nine. Is that that's not quite the same thing. If you divide 64 by 3... No. no. 64 doesn't go into 3. No, it's just like we've done a straight line, not full snowflake. Well, no, I've times that by, I've times my answer by 3. So, oh, okay. So, the primitive of this is 17 over 9, times that by 3 is 17 over 3. So, well, we agreed that it's the third iteration. Yeah, so this yes. is starting so we started from... from a straight line as zero. No, no, no. This, no this the is triangle this. was zero. Yeah. yeah. So, first iteration is that, second iteration oh, is that, third iteration I thought, is that. I thought you meant... However, your third iteration should be 17 over 3, surely. <clears throat> yeah, so this is my triangle. Like, is that now just one side? 16 over 3. No, because you have 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3 is 2 over 3, plus 8 over 9. Over those together is... Eight plus six. So each one of those gets its own triangle. So when you take a cosh snowflake, fun fact for you, I did a <laughs> talk on this. So you start from your cosh snowflake, yeah. and then every time you have a straight line, you take it into thirds and add a triangle. Yes. So now here, you take that into thirds and add triangles. Oh, I thought the triangles only came okay. I... No, so it's not triangles that are triangles. It's, it's triangles every time you have a straight, straight line, line okay. um, third it, and then mm -hmm. add a triangle. Mm -hmm. So you end up with something that looks like I've done that one too many times. Okay. I just didn't know that. Okay. So what I'd actually calculated <laughs> was the area. No, I calculated the number of sides after n iterations. Okay. Because I was apparently rushing and didn't read the page properly. Okay. What's um, the page say? The actual answer. So is? the the perimeter after n iterations is four over three to the power n. So you're right. Yeah. Do we get half mark for the correct number of iterations we need to calculate? You, are, you get a mark. So this question, I I did this out of two marks. So you can have a mark yes, of three. You can, you can have two, and Henry, you can have one. It helps that it had to be a whole number. So logic and deduction said which of seven, eight, nine went into the go. age range of twenty to twenty-five. <laughs> I'm like, okay, the odds are it's twenty-four. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just like, I have no idea how old any of you are. Great. <laughs> If you're interested, the number of sides it has after three iterations is 48. Oh, <laughs> what's the dimension of Kosh, maybe? Uh, it's like 1.26. Yeah, it's slightly under two. Um, yeah, so in our first year of undergrad, we had this computing for mathematics course, and in order to teach us how to use the formatting language LaTeX, which is this thing that you can like write maths in, um, we had to write a two-page maths report on something that had to include a figure and equation. Like it had to be a coherent maths report. It was a really cool concept because like people did them on all sorts of things. So I did mine on Gosh Snowflakes. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um, back yeah. when I thought I was going to be a pure competition. E. Let me. Can I double nothing with one chuck to me? But you can have one for your one mark, and then you can oh. have a bonus. Yeah, so that's still double, yeah. but not nothing. Yeah. So do you want a, another jelly sweet? Yeah, chocolate. Yeah. Okay. Do you have a preference for which one? No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Jared is distracting. My pressure to like throw these properly is like, oh my god. Okay. Right. We ready? Yeah. Double. <laughs> 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 That genuinely hit your teeth and then bounced. Learn no, it. No. <laughs> oh dear. That we tried. Yes. That was that was solid effort. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That was the best throw I've done so far. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. Final question. Okay. Yeah. Final question. If you're one of quizzes where it, the last question's asked a million. <laughs> and I would just like to say that you're actually both on equal points. Oh shit. <laughs> well I had half mark advantage at one point. 
Oh, when I could, yeah, when you're yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. So finally, it wouldn't be a pl- a proper Black Country Christmas <laughs> without <laughs> getting an orange and a lump of coal in your stocking. <laughs> So if you were going to gift each of the members of Behind the Research a perfectly spherical orange with radius four centimetres and a perfectly cubic lump of coal measuring five centimetres, how much wrapping paper would you need to cover them? That's so weird. <laughs> How are we wrapping them? Are we just doing like a big You're assuming that the wrapping paper perfectly covers the surface of the, the gift. How about like we're not like putting them all together in like one big gift? No, you need to wrap them all individually. individually. They're stocking stuff so you're not sticking each bit of coal to the. No, no, because they're gifts for different people, <clears throat> Henry. We're both getting oranges and. Yes, but we've got we so we've got our, in our little. You're not getting an orange <laughs> in our little behind the research gingerbread house. Yeah. There's four stockings hanging yeah. above the fireplace. Yes. Yeah. One for each of yeah. us. And in each stocking, you need to wrap and give an orange and a lump of coal. Okay. Well, not not your own, obviously. Yes. So, yeah. Oh, so oh, we don't give ourselves. You're not a gift. giving yourself a present. I'm now just explaining more of the. While you're at it, do you want to explain the uh, surface area of a sphere? Oh no, you should know that. Well, I don't. Um, I think it's four pi r squared. Is it? I thought it was four over three. So four over three pi r cubed is the volume. Oh, yeah, that's... Okay, yeah, that's... So, oh, oh, I'll Google it. Did you remember that? You should do that. You don't sound like... Yeah. Well, it's been like... No, well, you know, we can calculate it because you just have to take the... In, uh, you just take the volume of evolution and just... The it is... It's 4 pi r squared. Oh. Where okay. r is the radius. That's why I gave you the radius. And I will accept your answer in terms of... Well, because what's the point? It's a positive series of... No. Cube, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Will you accept our answer in terms of tau, as tau superior? No. No, because it's not called tau, is it? Tau is 2 pi. What? Tau is 2 pi. Is that some weird fluids thing? We no. Have? No, no, it's, no. it's uh, anti-pi people like tau as a number because they feel like the whole circle is better than using 2 pi. So if you work in full degree right, things, okay. then one tau... Okay, it's like okay. a full circle. It's stupid. It's fair. Agreed. That it's stupid. <laughs> not that it's fair. So I get a point for agreeing with you. No. No. Uh, no. <clears throat> Stampy faces. Oh, boy, do I have some news for you? Someone's not here. <laughs> um, what? Nothing. Confused. This is one where I'm probably just going to die. Like, if I've got the answer wrong, then let's face it. And you can, you, yeah, like I said, in terms of pi in centimetre squared, so I'm not asking you to do any, like, yeah, stupid. You can put it to the nearest decimal. <laughs> you to can three have significant figures. If you want to give it to me in three, to three significant figures, you can... I don't... Well, so it's, it's, you, we, I mean, we're happy we're just giving it in terms of pi. Yes. Okay, yeah. <laughs> What's the worst? No, I'm Ready? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Four fifty plus one nine two five. One nine eight pi. Where'd you get one nine eight from? I six got four fifty plus one nine two pi. Yeah. Sixty four times three. Sixty six. I just can't times sixteen by four. <laughs> two. Yeah, I did sixty. I did sixteen times four is sixty six. <laughs> yeah. 
I, I too, I was just you know, yeah. making sure you want to make me feel better. Well, oh, thank you. I appreciate it. So, it was very kind. <laughs> Henry, I'll give you one more. Because you got two. Oh, it's 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 okay. Okay. Yeah. So you, you get two more. It's just a little anyway. You get one more, but then can't have a sweet. Or well, it all comes down to... No. <laughs> it all comes down to this. Do you want to... Oh, here we go. want to do a, a catch the sweet, yeah. extra mark to yeah. draw. Yeah. Okay, if you want to. Right. <laughs> right, you ready? Yeah. No! Yeah. Yeah. You know what? Fair play. Fair play. That's good. Good job. Good job. Were you expecting this one? <laughs> no. I mean, so... You both got 12 and a half points each. Yeah. Oh, 20. Yeah. It's respectable. Yeah. I don't know how it works by the time we started, like, gambling for, like, bonus points by catching a sweet, but... It's like, I'm not not to play that card, but he, de- he did keep calling the sweet thing double or nothing, so I think you should have started taking points like, off him for my sake. Yeah. Well, no, 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 nothing is of the embarrassment of, like, going like that. Which we do have and we'll flip. Um, we did wonder whether that should be the rule and then it is like a proper stick or twist. So it's yeah. like you gamble, potentially losing a point if you don't catch the sweet. He tried it more times than me, so That's I true. think yes. That would be unfair though, because that also relies on me being able to throw it properly. So it wouldn't be fair to dock you guys yeah. a point when half of the issue is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was fun though. Yeah. Okay. Good quiz. I okay. disliked the amount of mental arithmetic I had to do, but it was... It was feel like it was relatively it was straightforward like yes. it wasn't like high concept mathematics yeah it was yeah. Of a sphere no surface of evolutions yeah i don't teach first year anymore so i don't i don't know if that's first year yeah say well they, they do it again in first year yeah. um, so that was a lot of fun thank you beth for organizing it. no it's okay i'm just glad I'm that it clap. wasn't <laughs> we don't need to clap we don't need to clap <laughs> yeah Oh, so yeah, and that's officially the end. Oh, <laughs> yeah, so we're never going back. Uh, <laughs> ended us. <laughs> oh no. Um. So yeah, but that is the end of behind the research for twenty twenty three. Yeah, we will be back in the new year. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or when yet? Throughout. Yeah. Yeah. So keep up to date on our socials because that will be the place you'll find out. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Seb will be back. They're all about yeah. Brazil. It'll be fantastic. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, hopefully lots of new faces. Mm-hmm. And more. We we'll do it more knit and natter. Yes. yes. Those are my favorite. Yeah, I will we'll do. Have, yeah, we'll have Seth's video games. Henry might do something. Yes. No. I. I yeah. We keep. We kept meaning to that. Then like. Uh, your schedule has just been. Yeah. Been bonkers. Um. Mm-hmm. But yeah, there'll be lots of new and exciting stuff. New uh, faces. Some familiar faces. Mm-hmm. Like. All the like, normal levels of crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, slightly less levels of crazy, maybe. Who knows? Yeah, maybe we'll see. Slightly more subdued. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I guess that's yeah. it from us, probably. Mm-hmm. Yeah, have a wonderful Christmas. Yeah, have a lovely Christmas. Um, Make sure to. Mm-hmm. Yes, all of the things. If you are particularly bored, you can go back and watch our vods. We have them on the channel, and also some of them are on YouTube. If we ever put the rest of them up, yes. the rest of them will be yeah. on YouTube. Yeah. Who knows? It'll be great. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Okay. We'll see you soon. Uh, should we chuck a raid on? Is anyone live? I don't know. Um, how do I do a raid? If okay. you do a raid, okay. So you want to do uh, so in on the left. Should we go to raid channel? We could end. No, let's do a raid. We okay. like people. Raid channel. Yeah. Ah. Oh, Lily's live. Okay, let's go. We have Lily. Okay, so type in Lily likes rocks. L i l y. L a what? L i l y. Oh yeah. Likes rocks. Yeah. Are they a geologist? Okay. They are a geologist. Uh, they do Pomodoro streams uh, and they are lovely. So let's go raid Lily um, and see hi. So, yeah. Uh, we'll go in in 10 seconds. No, no, yeah. no, no, no. So it goes like, active in 10 seconds. Oh, okay. Right. So we say goodbye to the stream. We go to a okay. ending screen. Yeah. And then okay. we... Me learning. Right. Oh. <laughs>